Hello guys and welcome to a new vlog on my YouTube channel. I'm about to head to Russia for the Russian White Nights. I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. So we're waiting for our luggage to arrive but uh, almost all luggage is gone and our luggage is still not there. Sucks. Okay, now it stopped and still our luggage is not there, so it got lost. Not a good start here. In arrived at the hotel it looks kind of oldish but okay i guess um and the next plans are to eat something probably and then head over to the hall i think i wonder if the hall is good i actually don't think it's good because i've seen some clips of the white nights 2018 and the hall looked normal no nothing special so but we'll have to see We see a lot of colored buildings here in Russia. Back there was a pink house, now a blue, now a green. So many different colors. More and more colored houses everywhere. In Germany we don't have so many colors. That's houses. I don't know, I don't even know, yeah, it seems like a church, even even the church is blue, not red, like in Germany, or, uh, yeah, it's a church, everything in Russia is colored, interesting, but we still are searching for food, haven't found anything. Sucks a bit. We are now at the other side of the church. There in front is a cafe. Maybe we eat something there before heading to the hall. Yeah. Because like uh, without food I can't really play. Here again for the church lovers. Interesting cafe. <laughs> we found some food. We went to the cafe. Um, it looks okay, nothing special. And we are under time pressure as we still want to go to the hall. And in four hours, there's a team meeting which will decide if I have to play qualifications or not. So, this means that we need to hurry up as we have time pressure. Yeah, should be enough for a nice, or at least uh, filling up our stomach, I think. Yeah. So now that we, no, that's, that's fast food. I don't wanna eat there. Um, now that we ate something, we're gonna search for something to buy. We need some water and maybe some snacks for the tournament tomorrow. As we don't know if there will be any food to buy or something. And hopefully I will have many matches, you know. And not lose first round, but um, you never know, right? I'm four stücke or so. That's some interesting building. Looks like a Greek temple. And here, do people actually live here? I don't know, probably. Looks interesting. 
What's this? Okay, something in Russian. Whatever. Let's head back to the hotel and then to the hall. Also, uh, now that we're back at the hotel, I just remembered what I forgot to tell you. Like, it's a airport, it's a control, it's like a military duel in Russia. They're just like, passport, look at me in the eyes. Normally they say like, oh, can I please have your passport, please have your idea, anything. They're, here in Russia, they're like, passport, passport, look at me in the eyes, passport. Kind of like a military duel. Uh, well, uh, I'm not sure if that's, I find that nice, but uh, it's interesting to say the least. And uh, now here we have in the background my father trying to read Russian and search for a place where we can buy groceries and to know where locations are. Basically everything is in Russian. We checked at the map and it was also in Russian uh, hard, hard, especially as I don't have Google Maps here because I don't have mobile data here, yeah. But whatever, as long as I can play tomorrow, I guess it's fine. That's the hall. Looks pretty okay. Back at the hotel now. Um, yeah, I basically played for like one or two minutes. Uh, you had to reserve the, um, the chords and as, as I was playing, I always got turned away. I tried twice and then I left. So basically I'm back, I'm gonna stretch a bit. Basically this is going to be a very boring vlog, I think. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post this, um, but yeah. I'm speechless like my father came back to so draw us ridiculous like I get a free win I'm one round more in the tournament without winning even a match but then I play against Iska Natsuka 9 from Malaysia for those who don't know him he was the number two of Malaysia a couple of years back and World ranked 100, but he uh, already played against great players like Lee Shun Wei and uh, Janu Jorgensen and lost against Janu Jorgensen in three games. So you kind of get the picture that I will, that I am at the moment not a little bit much outclassed. I don't belong to the top 50 players of the world. I'm still developing and then playing tomorrow against them. I, I was hoping to play in the qualifications. Um, yeah, like in the qualifications, I would be number one seed that I could have had a couple of more easy matches, go get some good feeling in the tournaments, get some wins for the first in my year. And now again, I, I get a tough player. Probably 2019 is not my year. I just have bad luck with the draw. I play the European champion. Now I play a former Malaysia number two. <laughs> I know it's hard, but uh, on international level, but normally you don't get in the first round on international level such tough players. But obviously, since I won the first round by default, because uh, two players moved out of the draw and then I move up. 
Uh, I will play. <laughs> yeah, I will just try to do my best. Um, maybe try some trick shots, some deceptions, some long rallies. Try to see if I can fool him a bit, deceive him, try to play some good rallies. Do my best possible, but... Um, I don't fly extra here to another country to lose first round. Technically it's second because I won the first round by default. But uh, yeah, I would have preferred to work my way up to the main draw and then lose instead of uh, being in round to 32, having won my first match by default and uh, then Losing against a top player. But what can you do, right? It is what it is. <sighs> yeah, okay. Uh, okay, guys, I think I'm going to end this vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And I uh, see you guys in the next video.